Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Ricardo. Um, uh, again, thank you for your for taking time from your sure busy um, schedule day um, and attend a cybersecurity super interesting um, webinar today. And let's give a couple of minutes to people to to join. I will uh, start sharing screen, etc. All right. So let's give a couple of minutes to people to to join. All right. Thank you again. Um, first thing first, um, let me present myself. My name is Ricardo Ena, and I'm the country manager here at Technoration UK. And today we will be talking about Proton. Uh, Proton is not an, uh, only an IRM, as you can see, an IRM stands for Information Rate Management. Um, we are um, partners of Proton and all the four other uh, vendors here in the UK. But let's jump on a little bit about us, about Technorization UK and and what we do. All right. So um, we are a um, group, or Technorization UK belongs to a group called Technorization Group, and we've been supplying IT security solution across uh, across um, Europe and Middle East and Africa. You can see on your right part that you that there's a number of uh, vendors or alliances that we partner with. Don't worry, I'm not going to <laughs> take all the time to explain any of, of those. Just uh, we'll focus today on Proton. Uh, we have a um, hundred employees, thousand certified customers, and our value added is we are more tech than sales. So we got more value in terms of we will be on your side or by your side at all times. Okay. Um, actually, today with this one with Proton, uh, we are bringing it to to the UK and. Exclusivity. That means no other uh, value-added distributor can um, can sell this in the UK, and that should be something, right? That should be a key point to to get uh, access to uh, some some customers, some special customers that they are looking for special or directly uh, solve this cyber. Uh, security issue uh, that we will present later on. All right, uh, a bit of who we are, as uh, mentioned, we are value added distributor um, here in, in the UK. We try and we aim to resolve for customers' IT security problems by your side. Uh, we got 25 year experience uh, in with partners and customers. We usually or we normally uh, wide level you uh, in front of your customers. So this is how how we work. It's called tier two. So on the left hand, you have all the vendors or alliances that we uh, work with: Fisher, Proton, Security, Nip, Fail, and there's a new one coming. Uh, I will maybe later on speak about it. Um, we are this kind of values as mentioned, um, a, a first hand of support, uh, pre-sale support, marketing support, financial obviously support, we can act as MSP, etc. And that is uh, next to us, it's it's you as, as an IT integrator, and then you got your customer. So in front of your customer, uh, we can wide level you, and we be we can be your cybersecurity uh, department, and and go there and try to uh, detect the opportunity and solve the issue that your customer is is having. All right, so let's jump directly on uh, what is Proton and um, and what is the the concern. All right. Um, 
who is not sharing confidential information uh, through the cloud these days, all right? Uh, through Google Cloud or Teams or um, even plain Gmail or, or any other cloud platform that you can imagine. So uh, companies, and, and actually this uh, big problem of working from home issue, right? They are um, um, sharing that kind of information. And many times uh, the IT uh, the IT managers they literally try to uh, ban uh, those kind of applications, but the user it will sometime eventually uh, work around how to share it without being noticed, how to share it without or uh, jumping the security or the IT security uh, measures rules that that you've been applied. Because you can apply a lot of measures, but you can apply it uh, when it is behind a proxy or connected VPN or, but not many times, not, not always is that possible. So we need to be sure that every time the, 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 the user is sharing something, the, the data it is protected. Why? Because th that leads to leakage on, imagine unhappy employees or hacktivists or or even just an insider guy, or even by mistake. Many, many times it's just mistake that you're sending uh, payroll to uh, someone called similar in your, in your address book on, on all the, and it's not the guy, right? So, we need to protect that, protect that kind of information. So for that, we invented the, the, the cyber industry and we invented a, a zero, uh, zero layers of, of security. First one, it was for enterprises, was uh, called DLP, and that is uh, stands for data leak prevention, and it protects company boundaries. And um, they started from, I will say three, three years ago, this kind of IRM, information right management, or that, that is something just to control who access that information. And that was literally just for enterprises and that was super pricey, super costly, right? But for that, as mentioned, you need a VPN and, and it will not protect all the devices so all the MDMs, all the, uh, the mobile device management was not covered by that, et cetera, et cetera. So then uh, they say, okay, how about if we, um, if we can complement the solution with uh, uh, secure mail? Well, how about if we complement the solution uh, with an API and, uh, and uh, on the Outlook or, or on Android or, or something like that, just to protect the storage and the email since the boom with a uh, bring your own device and, and the hybrid slash migration to the cloud standards nowadays. So finally, they came up with uh, what I call the circle of trust and it becomes uh, the, the only solution in the market then like we think on external recipients, you can uh, resend or uh, you can unsafely store information without uh, our knowledge. So it, that is uh, that is super risky, right? So we need this kind of um, solutions to um, to try to close the circle of the of the of the data where the data is. All right. Um, so how it works, it's simple. Um, I will say Proton, it's an, uh, an boosted IRM. So um, not the IRM usually just check for who got in access to that information and Proton does an extra thing. It can encrypt the files, right? So it can store the keys of your, of your uh, encrypted files so you can easily with just right click or with just placing the document on a special uh, folder it will encrypt the file then you can manage the permissions that's the ERM itself right you can manage the permission to say okay uh, how about Oscar can uh, copy that 
uh, that this info, this data, but cannot print it, for instance, or cannot um, manage in terms of he cannot see what is that data uh, going on or 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 something something like that, right? So you can create groups, you can um, you can create. Uh, those kind of uh, bespoke permissions for those those users who are going to share the information, right? Remember, this is not only for your um, internal staff. This is more focused for uh, external uh, sharing, right? Um, so once you are you, you share the information, you can track the documentation itself. You can you can check who got access from when, from where, all right? And and that will be uh, uh, that will be super straightforward. Even even if if the user copy the information, that copy will be still encrypted and it will be reflected in the in the Proton console that that guy Oscar copied that information and is sharing using uh, that Android device with that other guy. All right. All right. Um, that that is the um, the encryption plus the uh, plus the sharing thing. But as mentioned, Proton goes over o over that. And and the next step is how about if um, if I can. Uh, revoke access to that data that I share it. So, for instance, I shared information with my accountants, right? And by any chance, in one year, um, I don't want to share that content that I shared before with accountants, right? I can remotely, directly, right, anytime, right, um, revoke access and say, oh, you know, you know what? From from now on, I'm going to revoke access to those guys that I don't want them to get access. So now imagine um, this kind of a scenario that um, on education, for instance, um, the all the teachers, all the all the um, all the professors sharing the the um, all the lectures, right? And then by the end of the year, um, the the professor wants to um, ban access or no, or, or revoke access to those uh, those uh, students. He can easily do this. All right, we will uh, we will tell at the end that you can see a special special um, discount for for those education. So at the end of the day, um, what Patron does, it's more as you can see a more um, is doesn't is doing the uh, RM itself is doing also a DLP. He can uh, control the integrity of the um, um, of the data by encrypting itself, and can track monitor the activity. All right. So the next part is that bit that you can see that that is called classification. Why? Because many many times the user is so I will say dumb <laughs> that he has no idea that that thing or that data should be encrypted. Why? Because he doesn't know, or he's not conscious about how how um, um, how easy or how uh, badly can that uh, data affect if it get gets uh, leaked uh, somehow. So um, uh, Proton comes now with this information classification tool that it can um, it can classify automatically. Uh, based on policies um, and with the three different levels, restricted, confidential, and top secret, and it literally depends on the nature of that uh, of that data. All right. So you can create DLP rules, and you can force to classify office documents, force to classify Outlook attachments, and before the guy send in a payroll, say, okay, how will you will uh, classify this information and the uh, and and he needs to re response right he needs to say all right yeah this is top secret we are uh, uh, we 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 cannot have the privilege to leak this data all right um and and some special uh, tool something like uh you can classify that all the attachments only 
when the recipient address does not belong to your company email domain. So that means, imagine uh, you are going to um, uh, send those payrolls to your external accountants, then is the moment that you will force to classify that kind of information, right? And you can always, for sure, uh, event or monitor those kind of uh, uh, those kind of, of events, and it will be super easy. And if you don't want to monitor that thing, and you want to rely on us to monitor your um, your data, and and be sure to be proactive, like uh, and raising hands and flags, saying, "Oh, this guy is sharing that information." Even you said uh, that was a low, but just for information, that guy is sharing that kind of information. Just uh, it's part of the price. It's part. It's part of the bundle. So it says perfectly fine. How it works um, is simple. It's just one tool that calls these four uh, four other um, uh, integrations. So it gets an API for your um, external or preferred cloud-based solution. It calls this DLP. It can uh, access to your storage to uh, encrypt that that kind of data, and it can classify, as as mentioned. Um, one cool thing is the protection is persistent, so um, not even the um, uh, administrator can right-click um, and I will say unprotect the the data. Once it's protected, it is protected. Full stop. Right. That is really really cool thing because um, it makes um, the integrity control of the how to um, uh, rounded, right? Um, on private, on our own public cloud like um, Google Drive, you can uh, even you can uh, right click and say, okay, you know what? This information that I got it is stored in my drive. That is maybe it is or maybe it's not part of the organization. I will say it is part of the organization because sometimes it's super difficult uh, with those guys that are using Google Google uh, Drive or Google um, uh, Suite. It is super difficult to differentiate between this is personal, this is my Google personal, this is my Google uh, uh, corporate, right? In this case, it's super straightforward. You can right-click and protonize the, the the file, or even as I mentioned, forging um, to classify that uh, that information, and therefore a class uh, do some actions on top of it. All right. So um, actually, uh, use cases. First use case, a super simple one, is you need to install uh, and deploy the agent on um, the phone or a, or to the mobile phone or to the uh, laptop, all right? So even those guys working from home, they don't need anything, they don't need VPN, they don't need nothing, just the agent install. So they can, uh, they will connect directly with the key server on Proton Cloud, right? And, and it will be super easy and you don't need to actually to do nothing, just, um, Send the, the um, uh, distribute the the, the exe and 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 just run it. All right. Second thing is for those guys that maybe somehow they are just collaborators, so they are not part of your uh, organization. They will not have the agent, right? So what we what they can do is they can always access using this web client. It's, it's clientless, so you don't need to install anything. So it is literally when you double click the file, it will pop up a, a browser window and they will ask you for username, password, and, and will validate if you have access to that data, yes or no, right? There's something cool that it calls uh, Protonize folders that uh, came with, with Proton that you can just literally select a folder, set the permissions on that, uh, on that uh, folder, and off you go. You don't need to do anything else. It's a super it's powerful feature that actually uh, for those enterprise environments, uh, we will apply for those share folders on your organization network. So anything that you uh, drop it there, it will literally uh, inherit all the um, um, permissions that that uh, uh, the IT administrator 
or the Proton Administrator create for, for that, right? So once you have those um, prioritized folders, anything like uh, BI tools, like uh, your uh, preferred uh your preferred um cloud base or your um um sharepoint etc will be literally uh connected uh with uh, with the api and transparently will be protonized and and then you don't need to do anything else it's as simple as just click on okay i'm okay with proton having access to my sharepoint and protonizing this shared folder simple as that all right how that sounds sounds great okay um just uh we're about to finish um i want to do this like no more than than 30 minutes so uh just to th that that is all for for proton maybe just to mention we got this COVID 19 education promo on this 2020 until this so we have uh, two more months to join this kind of uh, special offer that we are uh, giving 35% extra for those educational uh, projects are interested on this um, on this kind of technology. Um, and that's it. Um, you can always write me an email for those that promotion or you can ask or uh or suck on our cyber inquiries at technorizinggroup.com and that will uh, lead directly to to me and i will literally uh, call you call you back asap um let's see if i got any uh questions you got a q a um panel over there so Feel free to drop me any questions, and now I will will give um, one two minutes just to see if there's any any question. Okay. It is, okay. I got got one question here. It is possible to try it. Yes, definitely. Uh, we are offering actually a free trial for the for the solution. And so you can try for 30 days or 60 days. It literally depends on how big the project. Um, yeah, call us or write us an email to cyberenquiries at technorizinggroup.com and you will get your trial license for sure. Um, there's another one here. What type of normally business uh, Proton working with? Well, um, we create this 35% scan off for um, education, right? But it it could be it not only be a focus on education. We got uh, law firms having this this kind of um, uh, of of uh, protection. Oh, obviously, financial data, small banks and family offices, etc., um, that are using this kind of of, of cybersecurity uh, tool. But yeah, um, most definitely, education is one is one of the of the verticals. All right. Any other question? No. All right. Thank you. Um, that's all. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I will leave you now um, with your day day. Um, stay safe and we will see you in two weeks. Well, we will speak about Bayshore and for and that is for industrial equipment and it will be super, super interesting. Thank you again and take care. Bye bye.